Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound SrBr2. Now we have two different elements here. We have Sr, which is strontium, and we have Br, which is bromine. Let's map where they are on the periodic table to see why it's an ionic compound. Strontium, Sr, is a metal because it's in group two on the periodic table. It's somewhere here. And anything that's in group two are metals, no exceptions. They're alkaline earth metals. So it's a metal nonetheless. Br, which is bromine, is a non-metal, right? And bromine is in group 7A or 17. It's a halogen. Those are metals. That's in me Those are non-metals. That's non-metal territory. So now we have a metal and a non-metal. That's an ionic compound. So now we're ready to name. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So SR was strontium on the periodic table. It's going to stay strontium. Cool. Bromine, which is Br, right? That was what it was on the periodic table, but the non-metal always gets the ID ending. So it won't be bromine anymore. I'll kind of drop the NE and add IDE. So for bromide. And now, you know, we have that part, but just do a, ch a, a you know, a double check, guys. Do I need a Roman numeral here? The Roman numeral is only for transitional metals. Group two, strontium in this case, is not a transition metal. It's not in this block over here. Therefore, I don't need a Roman numeral. So we're done. That's the name, guys. SRBR2 is just strontium bromide. And there you go. Hope for this helped. Give this video a thumbs up if it did. Just gets the word back to me that I'm doing my job correctly and that I'm helping you guys the best way that I can. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And let's keep studying hard, all right? I'll see you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.